Today's fashion industry relies on constant resource extraction. Raw materials are grown and then processed to become the clothes sold all over the world. Immense amounts of water are used to treat and dye clothing, and more often than not, it's released untreated back into the environment, polluting rivers and water supplies. It accounts for 20% of wastewater worldwide. All those resources used to produce the materials, and after the consumer is done using it, the product is simply thrown away. For me, sustainable fashion is about transforming the relationships between fashion brands and the people, the processes, the materials in every part of that supply chain so that human rights and the rights of nature hold more of the power wherever decisions are being made. Sustainability lies in creating a life cycle, a closed loop between producer and consumer. Imagine if we were able to recapture the raw materials of an item once the consumer was done with it. Circular loops mimic the way nature recycles water, energy, and nutrients. In terms of the closed loop recycling of fibres, we have, we have so far still to go. It's estimated that only 1% of materials collected in recycling are then made into new fibres. This is incredibly low and we need much more investment, more willingness from brands to put their money into fibre to fibre recycling. Greenwashing is what we see too often with fashion brands in particular, where they're boasting about their business, their values, the positive progress they're making, without sharing much about the things that, that go wrong or the systemic challenges they face. Things to look out for when it comes to greenwashing are to look for those sort of vague, woolly terms, you know, things like green and natural, even biodegradable.